Hello, this is Dr. Bonitatibus with an important message. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention has designated September as Suicide Awareness Month. We know that the loss of anyone close to us can cause us pain. As we start the year at TJ, the focus is just not on academics. It's on you and your wellness. We know that we can't get together in person like we normally do, and that can make us feel lonely and isolated. So what can we do? Reach out to each other with a text, a friendly message, ask someone to join you for a virtual lunch. It's important we stay connected. I would like to thank TJ today for bringing this important message to us. We lost a friend, a member of the class of 2021, James Wong, this past summer. His father brings us a courageous and inspirational message about the importance of staying connected. If you or any of your friends have suicidal thoughts, depression, please reach out to a counselor, a trusted adult, or use one of the crisis lines listed at the end of this message. We are here for you. We care about you. We've been through this for more than 40 days. And there's not a single day. I don't cry, I don't weep, I don't tear it up for James. By taking your own life, you're not just ending your own life, you are ending a big part of my life, of your, your family's life. For Joe Huang, all memories of James are like daggers, and yet memories are all he has left. As he notes, you cannot wait to start that conversation when warning signs are so visible. We even planned the trips two days after he took his own life. He was going to drive us to beach. I thought, okay, I would have another long talk with him on the road. I waited, I, but James didn't give me the opportunity to have that conversation. During every free waking moment, Joel Hong had dedicated his time towards investigating James's final whereabouts, trying to make sense of James's digital footprint, with too many questions still unanswered. As Joel Hong explains, James had disguised and internalized too many of his emotions. The smarter your children are, probably the better they know how to hide their true feeling. And James did it. He didn't let us know what's really on his mind. As an active advocate for mental well-being, Joe Hong showcases the responsibility for peers and parents to check up on one another and eliminate the stigma around mental health. If or when you see some signs of stress, depression, confusion of your friends or of our students, say something, some comfort, comforting words or a phone call to their parents or to whoever that may be able to do something for those Teenagers, that could mean life or death. 